Yo! What's up, new YouTubers? This video is strictly for you guys. For you little guys that got 100 subs, maybe even less, grinding your ass off and not getting any results and feeling like, fuck, why am I even doing this anymore? I'm enjoying a my beer of the day. We have Far East IPA. This is made in Vietnam. It's actually really good. Uh, it's only 30K too for a 6.7% alcohol beer. You really can't beat that. What's up, dude? Hello. I'm Joel. Joel. <laughs> Joel better. <laughs> he wants to talk uh, uh, vape, vape. He's got like the Viet vape. They have like a Joel comparison thing here, but it uses salts and it, it's just not as good. So let me get back to the, the topic we're talking about. We're talking to you, my new YouTuber friends. It can be some of the most discouraging shit in the world when you're just starting out making a YouTube. Trust me, I was in your shoes for like eight months. No one watched my shit. <laughs> no one commented, nothing. It's, it's all about putting the time in and putting content out and not being lazy, not getting complacent and making it happen. I don't plug uh, really any YouTubers on my channel because I have quite a large uh, anti-fan group and on a small channel, they can go to your channel and kind of wreak havoc. So once they go away, which they will, because who wants to just be negative and follow around a guy and thumbs down everything and make stupid comments? Eventually they'll just die out. So like, yeah, you're feeling discouraged. You're like, shit, this isn't hitting. Well, you know what? You have to keep trying different things. You have to try different thumbnails. You have to try different titles. In my opinion, the more general the title is, the better. Uh, a lot of YouTubers will say be very specific in the titling of things. Uh, for me, my videos do better when I'm just like broad, like how much is it? Uh, cost of living in Vietnam, for example. There's nothing fancy about that title. And it, it brings an interest to the click. You know what I'm saying? Uh, another thing, at first you don't have to have the best gear, you know, you can just have a GoPro or, you know, an X3000 Sony. I would still pick the X3000 Sony for a beginner YouTuber over pretty much anything. So this is uh, propaganda that they're playing, not propaganda, they're just saying wear your face mask, we have more infections, be careful on the speaker. But yeah, you, you guys, don't be discouraged, you know. I, I made some awesome videos in my early days, like, and sometimes my dialogue's better than it was now because I kind of overthink it. I was more off the cuff, and you should be off the cuff. Uh, just keep doing topics, keep throwing shit on the wall. Something will stick eventually, something will hit. All you need is a couple videos to hit. Uh, I think my first video to really hit was. Vietnam wins the the sock went won their championship and it was here in Win Way and you couldn't even walk around. I'm pretty sure that was my first really big video, and it's not big anymore. I think it's got six eight thousand views. We're almost at a hundred thousand views at the cost of living in uh, under forty days. Uh, so it's about you know just performing, just going out there and doing it. Even if you have a full-time job, you have to understand that YouTube, if you want to make it on YouTube, if you want to make money on YouTube, and if you want to climb fast on YouTube, if you're not some kind of niche. Like there's this girl in Japan, Oriental, I forget her name. But I mean, honestly, she makes really good content, but she had a leg up. She's hot, you know, she's a hot chick. And you know, sex sells. <laughs> in, the, in the whole world so and and then you got people like bald and bankrupt who uh, were launch padded from Harold and then the dude is a gift of gab he can talk he can speak like an angel like his dialogue is spot-on he knows multiple languages so if you're not in like that niche market to where you know a bunch of languages and etc cetera, etc cetera, it's it's putting the work in making content you know, like Harold didn't have a bunch of subscribers when he first started. He's deleted all of his early shit for the most part, like stuff he made 
nine, ten years ago. Uh, a few of it's there, but all of his early stuff, it had low views. I mean, it had, you know, five, ten thousand, fifteen thousand views, and he had low subscriber count. It doesn't happen overnight here. YouTube is a grind. Like I said, unless you're hitting like a niche market, unless like you're some dude in Antarctica that's traversing around, you know, like, it, unless you hit a super niche market, it's hard work. It's hard work grinding and continuing to grind and grind some more. I don't take days off. There is no days off. And then you gotta have, if, say if you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, they have to understand that you're grinding and they have to be open to filming everything, you know? Winnie pretty much knows if we go out for a dinner, it's gonna get filmed. And she's come to accept that. Ripping the jewel. Let me finish the beer and we'll walk over to Winnie. Like Winnie's great. I think we're, what time? She got off work 30 minutes ago. And she's nice enough to just be waiting for me over here. Which is awesome, you know? It's very important that you have a partner that's sympathetic of you filming all the time. And it's better if they're on camera as well. Like, there's Winnie over there sitting on the bike. Winnie. Probably texting me, but... It, it's, it's just a continuation of putting out a product and a product you believe in. And the other big thing is is uh premiering so after you get the the 500 subs start to premiere everything start to build your your initial core fan base and the reason why i don't believe in jumping off of someone else's youtube like a big youtuber to launch your youtube is you're not built oh hello hi hi that's so cute he came beeline for me <laughs> Jai. He's beelining for the street. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, uh, that's why I don't believe in, like, working with YouTubers early on. Your core base is your most important base. They are going to be the people that follow you. You're going to lose some of them. I've lost quite a few. You know, they're not going to agree with everything I say, or I'm not going to make them happy and reply to, like, every one of their comments. You know, I do the best I can. I get so many comments now. You know, I wake up to... 100 200 comments across all my videos so i missed some and youtube doesn't show me all those here's winnie she's looking at me <laughs> oh she looks very depth quad today cute dress but let's go up to the windmaster is she playing poker she's been playing a lot of poker 50 bucks she's playing poker let's see i know she's playing poker are you playing poker <laughs> See, she played poker. I'm Say, waiting for you. I know you are. Say hello to, to YouTube. Hello. So yeah, I mean like, when you're starting this YouTube game, it's a grind and you're not going to see instant results unless you've hit some kind of niche market. And if you don't have that niche market, you're going to, it's going to be a while, you know? This is a shout out to Rich, shout out to Johnny. Uh, you guys are both making good content and my main thing is you know work with what you have at first buy the proper equipment first I am still gonna recommend a Sony X3000 as a beginner vlogging rig a hundred percent oh this guy's injured from some kind of kickflip attempt I think the X3000 is the most versatile you don't need a lapel mic you don't need an external mic the microphone's amazing it gets good footage one thing maybe you could do is get like a crane, a gimbal, like the Crane M2 also works with the Sony X3000. That's the only thing I don't like when I go and look at my old footage is how much moving around it is. But I mean, we've significantly stepped up the production game with where we're at now. Uh, create a Patreon right away. You know, shout out to Scott, dude. This one dude has been on my Patreon and gave me oomph every month dude and he just like sent nice ass fucking messages on patreon still does to this day and he's like you got it bro keep doing it all you need is just a few of those fans like and shout out to frank 
Frank is one of the best fucking fans you could have. Frank, I already know you're over on uh, Johnny's uh, YouTube. I see you comment and pushing him. Awesome, I appreciate you, dude. Like, you, when you get like a good subscriber fan like that, it makes all the world a difference. And all you need is a few of them at first to push you to do what you want. And if any of you new YouTubers wanna contact me and, and talk it out, I am an open book to you guys. I believe in this community there's enough room for all of us and all of us can thrive, all of us can make our money, all of us can do it. So if you need any kind of help, you can join the Discord server, it's in the comments. You can private message me there, you can go on my Instagram, private message me there. There's all kinds of different ways. You can even email me, uh, my email is also in the description and I'll help you out as best I can. Like I said, I'm not plugging anyone's channel because of the the anti group and when you're a small channel if you got 15 20 people fucking thumbs down on your shit and leaving negative comments that can be a big impact so I'm purposely staying away from plugging uh, my favorite little youtuber channels I'll plug my big youtuber channels because they're big boys and they can do they, they know how that rolls so yeah I think we covered everything I wanted to cover on this video as usual you new youtubers I hope you make it keep pushing through do not give up this world is big enough for all of us to fit in it. I love you guys, and I love your hustle. Stay real. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one, and peace the fuck out.